Spanish for like a fighting chicken. That's awesome. knife detector here and uh that video you just saw the introduction well that was will ferrell in the movie talladega nights ballad of ricky bobby one of my favorite all-time comedy movies and uh, he used the term el diablo which does not mean uh mexican fighting chicken at all el diablo actually means a devil but the reason i'm talking chickens here and using the word bantam is because this is the victorinox bantam so bantam essentially means as you saw in the definition it's a small diminutive sized chicken right not this small but a smaller chicken than a normal chicken and the male uh chickens that are bantams are known for their aggression so that's why the chicken pictures and that's why that clip from Teledega nights but anyway i hope you got a kick out of that but this is the bantam i got this in a small knife lot i saw this kind of wedged in the background like i usually do i like to pay attention to the small details and then I thought, well, this is a one layer. Which knives are one layer? So before I even received this thing in the mail, I was already researching on Victorinox and the website, which of the Victorinox knives have one layer, right? And then I thought, well, it must be a Bantam. And I was right. Check it out. And this is an older one. I believe they, they might still make the Bantam. Uh, you can probably find a new one for 16 bucks or 15 bucks on eBay if you want to. But check out the, the age on those liners there, right? So this is an older Bantam. And you got the main blade, the main spear point blade. Now this had absolutely no snap and there was a lot of crud in here when I got it. But now it does snap open and the snap closed. It's real lazy. I believe that this thing was probably in the water for a period of time or maybe somebody even found it there. Who knows, right? That's why I tell you, you got to clean your knives. You got to clean your knives when you get them because only God knows where they've been, right? So, and this is, of course, that combo tool. You got your, your uh, flathead. You got your bottle opener, wire stripper. Nice, strong snap on that one. Let's hear that again. Look, boom, half stop. Even the half stop has a snap. Let's, let's open that wide. Boom, right? Sounds like a firework. Boom, and then let's close it. Boom. And the spear tip blade, let me show you the, the, the closing on this. It does not have a lot of walk here. Let's see. Check it out. And that's it. It's lazy. And you may not think it, but that is way better than it used to be. I couldn't even get the blades out of this thing. I had to use a lot of WD-40 and another multi-tool to pull the blades out. And finally, when they started to come out, I did about 100 of these, about 100 times like this, trying to work it and work it and work it and work it, trying to get it to be where it's that good. And I expect with some time, it'll be even better. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an EDC switch. As you know, I've been using the Victorinox Executive. And notice it has a lot more scratches than it used to because this is on my keychain. And that's what happens on my keychain. I also have this really cool keychain that... Uh, that tobias gibson gave me when when i won that raffle he did live sharp notice that it's also getting dirty and faded because because i use it guys it goes in my pocket my keys go everywhere with me so what we're going to do is we're going to take off the victorinox executive which is a 74 millimeter knife and the bantam is an 84 millimeter knife see how close they are they're really close in size just 10 millimeter difference so what we're going to do is we're going to replace my edc here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the uh, the bantam on my keychain now and let's see if that's too cumbersome if it's uh or if it's just right you know i'm banking on it that it's going to be just right it does feel a little bigger you know um it does feel like it's a little bit more weighted but uh, i think it's going to be just good you know and to be honest with you i think i'm getting the shorter end of the stick by putting the bantam because i'm substituting this all i'm getting is a larger blade right now check out the largest blade on on the executive you know it's not really a whole lot different right plus the executive have, has these other tools you know it has the scissors it has uh this thing whatever it is i think it's a cuticle pusher it has the orange peeler and then it has a smaller blade too check out that little smaller blade oh i need to close the scissors i think yeah check out that little smaller blade so a lot more amenities on the executive of course you got your toothpick and tweezers right there, which you've seen a million times i'm sure so does this one about the only advantage here is that you know this one has a more pronounced or it has a pronounced flat head it has at least a flat head i don't think this one comes with a flat head at all the closest thing this comes to a flat head is probably uh this thing 
but it doesn't even come to a point of being a flathead. So this has a flathead, and as you know, the flathead is extremely useful. Uh, you can use it also for several Phillips types of screws. So because of that, I'm gonna go ahead and make this change, and we'll let you know how it goes and give you an update. But for now, I'm gonna be carrying this Bantam. Hope you like that funny introduction to my video. And like I said, you know, uh, the Bantam is like a small chicken. And it's funny that this Victorinox is called a Bantam. Uh, bantam also, of course, is a boxing term, and it's used as bantam weight, meaning a very light fighter, right? Uh, but my understanding is that it has other meanings, and I think it has a totally different meaning in Canada. Maybe you guys can chime in and tell me what meaning bantam has in Canada. But in any case, I'm going to take this small Mexican fighting chicken with me, and uh, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead, my friends. God bless you. Take care. If this is one of the first videos of mine that you're watching, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay sharp, my friends.